Okay, so just for shortcut's sake, um, what I'm going to do is take the elements from these two layers right here. Okay, and I want to take and copy them. Okay, so I'm going to take these two elements. I'm going to hide the rest of the elements. Boom, boom. Just like that. And the background also. Edit, copy, merge. Edit, paste. Okay, so that's going to paste it way at the top. And basically what that has done is giving me another leg. Okay. And if I hit this and hit apply, and then edit paste, I got another leg that I can kind of rotate into position. So this is just a shortcut right now. I don't like how the hair is all exactly the same on them though. So just rotate them, move them into position. Now, let's turn all the elements back on. I'm going to get rid of this layer, it's distracting me. That was just that junky background layer that I had. Okay, layer, 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 layer. Good. Okay, and I got all these on individual layers. Good. All right, so if I wanted to add some style to these legs, make them a little longer or something like that, I could do that. Like if I want this leg a little bit longer. Well, what I could do is go to Filter, Liquify. And if I show Backdrop, it'll show the rest of the spider. Now, what I do is make my brush really big. And this is the bracket key on the keyboard. Or you can sit here and just go up like that. And what I can do is just stretch that a little bit. So sometimes before I even paint the fur on, I'll liquefy them and give them some really cool style. And this will help with the brush variation on it too. Okay, so there's that one, and I want to do that with the other legs. So I just go to the next leg, next layer. This should definitely have eight legs, but this is a mutant spider, so it does not have eight legs. Okay, a little bit too liquefied there. If I hit Alt Control Z, I can fix that and go back in the filter and liquefy them. And for the last leg, I'll save you the hardship of watching me just do this because it's really boring to probably watch. So that's how I kind of fix things. I'll liquefy them up, then repaint on top of them. 
At this point, I don't want to get too overly complex with this lesson, however. I want you to use the tips that I've showed you, uh, the fur, the detail, the whatever, the making the forms, the layers, and produce a small insect of nature. Now, it could be a spider, it could be a ladybug, it doesn't really matter. Make sure it has some kind of detail in it, however. All right? So that's it with the lesson. Hope you like those tools. I know they come in quite very handy when you're just doing the basic painting. And in the next lessons, we'll study this a little bit further on more complex things.